Today we are going to develop fingerprints on porous surfaces. That's paper, unfinished wood, and we're going to do that using a chemical called an anhydrin. Now before we get going, it's very important that to know that an anhydrin is very, very toxic. You can see I have my mask. I'm going to wear my mask. We're going to do this under a fuming hood. I'm going to use my protective goggles. I have my gloves on. Um, you don't want to get this on your skin. You also don't want to be able to breathe it in, getting it into your eyes or any open surface. So you want to make sure that you're wearing that protective gear. I'm using a spray bottle of Ninhydrin. I actually don't like the spray bottle as much. I would like to soak it, but for the purposes of instruction, we're going to use the spray bottle. Um, let's zoom in and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I have my mask on, so it might be a little muffled um, when I'm talking to you because I'm really wearing a very tight, strong mask. I, uh, I told you this stuff is very toxic. So I have my fingerprints here where you see that I have it marked. So I'm going to spray my fingerprints and let those soak. Now I'm going to let that soak for about two minutes. So let me come back after two minutes and then we'll heat those up. I've waited my two minutes. Now I'm going to use my iron to heat my fingerprints. The fingerprints are going to turn purple once they're heated. I'm not putting the iron directly onto the fingerprints, but I'm letting the steam do the work. Do the same on the wood, just as I did on the paper. Okay, here's our one print. Second one, a little bit on the top here. And then our third print. We didn't have as much success with the wood. We can see where the fingerprints were, but I don't see any detail. And that, my friends, is how we develop fingerprints on paper using Ninhydrin.